Okay, so as discussed, starting in a lying down position, you can have your legs straight or your knees bent, whichever you prefer. And we're just going to start with a deep breath. So you're going to take a really deep breath in through your nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. And again, deep breath in through your nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. We're now going to pandiculate. So you're going to reach your arms and legs away from each other. Imagine that you're waking up first thing in the morning and do anything that feels delicious and lovely. So you kind of get a little bit of tension in your body as you're going for this deep kind of, it's actually called pandiculation rather than stretching, although we call it stretching. And when you've done that for a few seconds, you're just going to let yourself flop. Okay. And now from here, keeping your arms and legs on the floor, you're going to roll or slide onto your right side, keeping your limbs on the floor to, to make it as easy for yourself as possible. And then you're going to slide back onto your back. And then slide over to your left. You're going to be lying on your left side. Back onto your back. And do this a couple more times each side, keeping yourself as lazy and as floppy as you possibly can, a bit like a jellyfish on a beach. Okay, now the next time you come over to your right, you're gonna extend your legs and lie face down for a moment. And then we're gonna go as lazily as possible to roll onto your back and then to the other side. So you're gonna keep everything floppy and lazy, sliding your limbs along the floor, over onto your back, then to your left, and then to face down. And then back onto your back, to your right, and then to face down. And then last one, going back onto your back, over to your left, and then face down. Groovy, back onto your back again. And bring your knees into your chest. Hold onto your knees, gently rock from side to side. Okay, now from here, uh, lift your head and your shoulders away from the floor. We're gonna act like a little dead, uh, not a dead bug, because that would be weird, but one, an upturned insect. So you're gonna try and right yourself and basically kind of flapping your arms and your legs in the air, as if you're trying to turn yourself onto your correct side, which is face down. Um, obviously it's harder if your head and your shoulders are not touching the floor. So it's comparing with the effortlessness we were doing before with effort that we're now bringing in. And you can roll slightly from one side to the other. This time your limbs are not touching the floor. So in comparison to what you were doing earlier with very heavy limbs, we're now going a bit lighter, just kind of slightly rolling from one side to the other. So you go to one side of your body, back onto your back, and then across to the other. And then we're gonna roll onto the front and try not to let your limbs touch the floor as you roll. And then you're kind of swimming here. So moving your arms and legs around as if you're swimming quite badly. And then again, without touching your arms and legs onto the floor, you're gonna roll onto your back. And then across to the other side. So you go onto your left side and then to your front. And then a bit of swimming. Onto your back. And then just keep this going. So you can keep rolling from one side to the other. Rolling, 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 depending on how much space you have, of course. And just keep rolling from one side to the other, to the other. And this is just a surreptitious way of getting you to use your abs. And then when you come onto your back, stay there, put your head down. Oh, take a deep breath and chill. Okay, gently rock side to side. Feet on the floor. Okay, 
Okay, so you want to have your heels relatively close to your bum, although it's not massively important, the precise location of your feet. You're just going to push down through your feet and lift your hips. And then very slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Now bring your feet together. Place your left foot on top of your right knee and then lift your hips. Lower them down slowly. Change legs. So your left foot is now on the floor and your right foot is on top of your left knee. And lift your hips. Slowly lower down. Both feet on the floor. Roll onto one side, come up into a seated position. Okay, holding onto your knees, roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Roll your shoulders forward a couple of times. And then drop your right ear to your right shoulder, let your head be really heavy, and then roll your head down to the middle and across to the other side. And again, oh, hello, nice to see you. Head down to the center, <laughs> across the other side. Lovely, back down to the middle, across the other side. Nice, back down to center. Hold on to your knees here. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward, arch your back. And then you're going to exhale, round your spine, lean back slightly. So you're going to hold onto your knees and lean back and round your spine. I'm going to just turn to the side slightly so you can see it from a different angle. Inhale to lift your chest again. Nice. Exhale, round your spine, slightly lean back. Nice. Same thing with no hands. So your hands and your arms can now be free and just do whatever you want with them. So you can improvise and just see what feels right for you. So you inhale to lift your chest and then exhale to round your spine, lean back slightly. So you're going to feel it's slightly harder to hold yourself here because you're leaning back a bit. And then inhale to lift your chest. Lovely. Last time to round your spine. Nice. Lift your chest one more time and then place your hands on the floor behind you. Nice. You can have your fingertips on the floor or palms flat, whichever. Stay where you are, take a deep breath. Nice. As you, bring your ha um, as you exhale, bring your hands forward, place them on the floor in front of you. And just stay there, rock from side to side a bit. Nice. Again, you can do whatever you feel is right for you in this particular situation. All right, we're going to come onto hands and knees now. So when you're ready, you're going to roll over your legs. Come onto your hands and knees. Nice. And once you're there, just start to walk your hands on the spot. So I'm going to turn to face you. Hopefully you can see what my hands are doing. Yeah. Just shifting away from one hand to the other. And now turn your fingers outwards and do the same thing. Lovely. Just to warm up your wrists a bit. And now turn your fingers forward and gradually turn your fingers towards each other so your hands are turning inwards and you're internally rotating from your shoulders. Lovely. And then turn your fingers outwards again. Thumbs are now forward. Bring your hands together so you're, the inside of your wrists are touching. We're going to make circles around your wrists or around your hands. Lovely. Yeah. Change direction. Okay, we're going to go into a puppy pose from here. So you're going to just walk your hands forward in front of you. Keep your hips nice and high. So you're reaching your arms forward, your hips go up, your chest goes down. Nice. And then move your chest from side to side once you're in your puppy pose. So you're probably feeling this nice expansion and stretch around the side of your shoulders. 
If you'd like to make it a bit stronger, you can go to fingertips. Okay, let's lift the chest away from the floor. Hands back underneath your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do a little kind of balancing thing here. And this is gonna build up gradually. So this is gonna be relatively easy to begin with and then we're gonna make it quite difficult. So you're gonna now slide your right hand forward and your left foot back. Lovely. And now lift them up. Okay, take a breath here. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze your knee and your elbow towards each other underneath you. Round your spine and squeeze everything in. Yep, inhale to expand. Very nice, two more just the same. Exhale, rounding your spine, squeeze your knee and your elbow towards each other. Yeah, really try and squeeze your thigh to your chest and then inhale to expand. Lovely, last one. Exhale, squeeze it in. Fabulous, inhale to expand. Now reach back with your right hand, bend your left knee, try and catch your foot. If you're nowhere near, it doesn't matter, but I think you've got it, lovely. And then press your foot into your hand. Awesome. Okay, slowly release. Place your right hand down, your left foot down, your left leg down, actually. And then go straight to side two. So you're gonna slide your left hand forward, your right foot back. We just re repeat the same process on this side. Lift your left hand and your right foot. Take a breath, and then you're gonna squeeze it in. So rounding your spine, squeeze opposite elbow to knee. Awesome, expand. Yep, you got it. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale to expand. Last one, exhale, squeeze. Inhale to expand. Reach back with your left hand, catch your right foot, so going opposite hand to foot, and holding your foot, press your foot up away from you. Nice. Release slowly, place both hands and knees on the floor. Sit back onto your heels for a second, just wiggle your fingers, take the weight out of your hands, sometimes it gets a bit much. Yeah, and just wiggle. You can rotate your wrists as well. Okay, we're gonna go for a little walk now. It's not a real walk, it's a pretend walk. <laughs> it's kind of a crawl. You might have done this before. So it's basically, you're gonna come into this position, hands and feet on the floor, no knees, and you're just gonna take a few paces forward. I don't need to think about it too much. You're just gonna walk forwards and walk backwards again. Nice, lovely. Good, keep going. So just walk forwards, walk backwards, walk forwards, walk backwards. Nice, lovely. Very nice, and then come to the middle of your mat, drop your knees, sit back onto your heels, shake your hands out. Okay, um, just so you know, the th theme of the class, not that there's ever really a theme, um, is like core, and <laughs> I'm not really like a fan of like core stuff, I kind of think mm, it's really boring, um, and the whole kind of concept of core is often a bit misunderstood. So the purpose of your core is really to kind of transfer forces from your upper limbs to your lower limbs and your lower limbs to your upper limbs. So, so for example, like if you're um, throwing something, you, it's, the movement is starting from your legs, it goes through your core, your midsection, and then your core sends it to your, through your shoulder to your arm, and that's how you achieve a throw, right? So um, the concept of like sit-ups or really boring core exercises I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, but we will be doing stuff that will work this region of the body um, in quite an unpleasant way sometimes. Um, but it's in a more kind of, I don't want to use the word functional, but kind of more, slightly more real world type of stuff. And crawling, like we've just been doing, is actually, you're using your core without really noticing it that much. I don't know if you could tell. Um, you're probably focused on like other movements. So we're gonna crawl again, and I just want you to be aware of what's going on. I don't want you to do anything different. Just feel 
what's going on in this region because you're probably naturally without thinking about it just using it right okay here we go going for a crawl a few paces forward and a few paces back yep lovely just lower your hips a tiny bit yeah <laughs> very nice lovely and then come back to the middle of your mat and then just nod your head you can put your knees down nod your head if you could feel something kind of good yeah fabulous okay amazing nice same same but completely different but still with the theme of hands and knees on the floor and you're going to move your left foot out to your left slide your right foot out behind you now you're going to reach your right arm over your head and now lift your right foot Cool. So sort of similar to what we were doing before. You're going to go knee and elbow towards each other. You got it. And then expand. We're going to do this a few times, squeezing your knee and elbow towards each other and expanding. So this is a bit dry, in my opinion. <laughs> it kind of gets more fun. And expanding. If you want to make it more difficult, you can have your fingertips on the floor. If you want to make it even more difficult, you can have just two fingers on the floor, maybe one finger, maybe no hands, but I also want you to vary the speed and the location of your arms. So you kind of get a little bit erratic and you can kind of flap your arms and let your, well, not both arms, just the top arm and leg around just to kind of work your body in different speeds. So you could kind of move between fast and really slow and then really slow to expand and then fast to contract again. Just varying the speed and the locations um, and the positions of your body as you do this. And if you want to make it really hard, no hands. So you kind of, oh, literally just on one knee. <laughs> and it's quite tricky. Nice. Really good. Okay, we're going to carry on for another three, two, one, and now we're changing sides. Place both hands and knees on the floor. Stay there for a second and just wiggle from side to side. So just move through your spine, your shoulders, and whatever way you feel is delish. And then we'll change sides now. So your right foot's gonna go out to your right. Yep, your left leg slides out behind you. Your left arm comes over your head. Lift your left foot. And then here we go, squeezing your knee and elbow towards each other and expand. Lovely. Squeeze in. Expand. Again, if you want to make it harder, fingertips. Two fingers. Or no fingers. No hands. And then try and make it a bit erratic. Same as you were doing before. Varying the speed. Fast, slow, completely random. No hand, maybe. Whoopsie. <laughs> Try not to fall over. Although if you do fall over, the floor will catch you. It's always reassuring to know. Okay. Carrying on for another three, two, one. Both hands and knees on the floor. Oh, sit back onto your heels and come into a kneeling position. I think you can probably feel it like here a lot in the hips. Okay, <laughs> from here. A bit more normal now, into a downward dog. So you know how to do this. Place your hands on the floor, spread your fingers wide, lift your hips. And once you've arrived in your downward dog, start to walk your, hand, your feet on the floor. So bending one leg, push the opposite heel down and switching, switching, switching. Okay, start to walk your hands to the back of your mat towards your feet. Nice. When you get there, just shake your legs out a little bit. Then you can let your head hang, you can let your arms hang, bend your knees a little bit as well, and gently sway from side to side. Okay, keeping your knees a little bit bent, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. You're going to roll up one vertebra at a time to come up to stand. OK, 
Okay, when you get to the top, roll your shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of spinal waving now. Um, I think you probably know how to do this, but basically you bend your knees a little bit, you push your chest forward, you stick your bum out, and then you lift your chest, lean back a little bit, and then you cave in through your chest, your solar plexus and your belly button, then your chest comes forward, your bum sticks out, and you carry on, just rippling through your spine. Uh-huh. And the idea is that you get every little joint of your spine to move independently, the one above and the one below. Yeah, exactly. Ironically, another way to use your abs, or slightly unconventional way. Okay, from here, we're gonna reach the arms up, take a breath. You're gonna go halfway down as you exhale. So your arms are gonna reach forward, just go halfway down. Take another breath in. Exhale, hands all the way down to the floor. Fingertips can be on the floor. Walk your hands forward, coming into a plank as you inhale. Nice. Oh, on your next exhalation, you're going for a fake child's pose, bending your knees, but don't put them on the floor. Move your hips back and press your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, lift your hips high, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine, roll forwards into a plank. Same again. Exhale, bending your knees, push back. So your bum goes towards your heels, press your chest towards your thighs. Lift your bum again, round your spine, roll forwards to plank. Two more of those, bend your knees, push back. Yep, you got it. Nice, lift your hips, round your spine, roll forwards. I've lost count, of course, but I think this is the last one. <laughs> bend your knees, push back. Okay, rounding your spine, roll forwards. Okay, now you're going to stay with your plank and we're going to do like a weird twerking in your plank. So you're going to stick your bum out a little bit, you can bend your knees a tiny bit for that. And then tuck your tailbone under. So you're really rounding your spine. You're going to work between these two positions. So arching your back in your plank and then tucking your tailbone under. Yeah, cool. Keep going for another three of those. So you're going from like a super straight line through your body to sticking your bum out a little bit. Yep, so normal convention tells us that we should only ever do a plank with a tuckage of the tailbone, but I want to kind of work the strength of the back and the front of the body by doing it wrong on purpose. Nice, I think that's probably about enough. Knees on the floor, bring upper body down. Nice, and then fingertips on the floor, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, and coming into a halfway upward dog. Yeah, and then from there, downward dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips, up and back you go. We'll start to walk your feet forwards towards your hands. Very nice, look forwards, inhale, rise all the way up. Amazing, shake your legs out, shake your arms out, and then come down, cool. Something fairly basic but quite challenging at the same time. You're now going to stand on your right foot, pick up your left knee. So your left knee is just going to point straight forwards. Okay, simple enough. <laughs> um, and you can press your foot against the inside of your leg. Okay, now here, find your balance and once you have found your balance, close your eyes. And then just stay as still as you possibly can. And you might choose to take your awareness down to your foot just to feel how hard your foot's working. I know it's quite hard, right? <laughs> okay, place your uh, right, uh, left foot down and go straight to the side too. Now standing on your left foot, pick up your right foot. So just let your right foot press against the inside of your left knee, find your balance, and then close your eyes. Nice. Okay, eyes open, place your foot down. Shake your legs out. Okay. Stand again on your right leg, pick up your left knee. 
Same, same, but very different. You're now going to lean your upper body out to your right and kick your left leg out to your left. If you want to, you can extend your right arm out to your right as well. Okay, and like you were doing in the kneeling position, you're gonna go knee and elbow towards each other. Yep, I <laughs> know. So we're now working like 75 things at the same time, balancing on one leg, expanding and contracting, bring your knee and elbow together and then expanding and contracting. So we're working balance, a little bit of core, and hip mobility as well. Okay, last one, open out. Bring it back in, place your foot down, go straight to the second side. Standing on your left foot, pick up your right knee. I know, but yeah, shake out your legs. Okay, when you're ready, pick up your right foot. Nice, extend or lean out to your left, and then extend your right leg out to your right, and your left arm out to your left. Cool, squeeze it in. Lovely, expand. Fabulous, squeeze in and expand. This is kind of taken from martial arts. I think you could probably figure that out for yourself. Squeeze it in, expand. And of course I've lost count, but I think this is the last one. Squeeze it in and then release. Shake your legs out. Okay, now you can do this facing me or wherever. I don't really mind. I'm gonna do it facing you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You're gonna walk forwards basically turning your left knee out to your left, pick up your knee, bring it forward and then take a little step forward. Then you do the same with the other leg. Your knee goes out to the side, you pick it up, you bring it forward, step it forward. I'm now gonna turn slightly the other way so you can see that I'm stepping forward and walking. Yeah, and you really wanna kind of maximize the rotation and the action of your hip joint. Yeah. Nice. If you're feeling quite energetic, you can add a little jump into it. So with the jump, it kind of, well, it looks a bit silly sometimes, but <laughs> it kind of like is this. So that's if you're feeling particularly sprightly. Nice. Okay, we're now gonna do the similar kind of thing, but going backwards. You're gonna still face the same direction, but your knee is gonna come forward and up, out to the side and down, forward and up, out to the side and down, forward and up, out to the side and down. You get the idea. Nice. And then we can just move forward and backward, forward and backward a few times uh, with the spring or without it. Exactly, good. When you run out of space in front of you, still face the same direction, but you then just change the action of the legs. Okay, just do one more of those. Lovely, I'm watching. <laughs> yep, and then when you get to the back of your mat, stay there. Okay, from here, standing on your right leg. There's no rest for the wicked, by the way, just in case you're thinking, shit, when do we get a break? Like, never. Stand on your right leg, pick up your left knee. Now lean back. Now, just the action of leaning back, hopefully you'll feel, works your abs. You can poke them if you want, you can check. And now extend your left leg forward and as silently and as softly as you can, you're gonna step forward. Like you're trying to creep past a sleeping baby and not disturb it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're gonna kick off or push off this front foot and step back. We're gonna do two more with the same leg. So standing again on your right foot, pick up your left knee, lean back a little. Extend your left leg forward. Lean, land. Push off, come back. Nice, one more. Leaning back, slightly extend. Land, push back, changing legs. Yep, cool. Standing on your left foot, pick up your right knee. And then lean back a little. Very nice, extend your right leg. Whoopsie, try not to fall over. Extend your right leg forward. Nice, lean, lightly step. Yep, push back. Nice, same again. Extend, lean, step lightly, push off. Yep, last one. Picking up, leaning back, extending forward, step, land, push back. Beautiful, 
Inhale, reach your arms up. Make a big circle with your arms in the air. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. You're going to walk your hands forward, coming into plank. Once you've arrived in your plank, try and do a little bit of tucking of tailbone. Move your heels from side to side. Yeah. So just try and um, unarch your back. Your, your back at the moment is a bit like this. Try and do the opposite. So try and tuck your tailbone a bit now. Yeah. And then move your heels from one side to the other. Yeah, they don't have to touch the floor. If they don't get anywhere near the floor, it doesn't matter. You're still building strength through the rotation, no matter whether your heels are touching the floor or not. Lovely. From here, pushing back into a downward dog. Inhale to lift your right leg, three-legged dog. Nice. As you exhale, bring your knee to your chest, bring your shoulders over your hands and kiss your knee. Inhale, extend your leg back up. Same again. Exhale, knee to your chest. Squeeze it in. Try and kiss your knee. Inhale, extend your leg back up. Now this next little thing is a bit of a bitch. We're basically going to do mountain climbers. <laughs> so you're going to bring your knee to your chest. Aren't you glad you signed up for this class? And then we're going to shoot the right leg back and bring the left knee in. Pew! Yep, change again. Pew! And then just keep changing. Lovely. Keep that going. You're allowed to swear. No one can hear you. Lovely. And then just keep that going for another three, two, one. Push back to down dog. Have a cry. Oof. <laughs> Breathe. Good work. <sighs> Knees on the floor for a sec. Sit back onto your heels. Shake out your wrists if you need to. You're doing very well. Yes, I'm sweating like a pig also. <laughs> okay, amazing. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So it's gonna be three-legged dog, knee to chest, three-legged dog, knee to chest, three-legged dog, knee to chest, and then the little mountain climbers. Uh-oh, the T-shirt's coming off. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Down dog, left leg's going up. Nice. Exhale, knee to your chest, bring your shoulders over your hands. Inhale, left leg back up. Yep. Exhale, knee to your chest. Lovely. Inhale, back up. Nice. Knee to your chest. And then here we go with the mountain climbers. Switch. Pew! Switch. And then keep going. Keep going. Fast, 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 fast. Nice. It's nice to vary the tempo of movement in life. Although you look like you do a lot of, <laughs> a lot of activity anyway. Keep going for another three, two, one, and down dog. Oh. Okay, walk your hands towards your feet, come to the front of your mat. As I said before, there's no rest for the wicked. And even if I don't know what you've done, you do. <laughs> come all the way up. That's what my dad always used to say to me, shake your legs out. But I was a very naughty teenager. Shake out your arms. Okay, so we're going to work through a couple of squats. We're going to just go basic squat and then elevator squat and sissy squat. We're going to do two of each. Basic squat, when you're ready, you're just going to go down. Basic squat, no big deal. Precisely. Have a little bounce and a wiggle in the basic squat. Uh, it's like a rest position, just could hang out here for the rest of the afternoon. We're not going to, sorry. Okay, <laughs> we're going to stand up. Lovely. Back down again. Cool, stand up. Okay, that was the basic squat. Elevator squat, you may have done before. You basically lift your heels and your knees go forward and your bum goes straight down. So your bum does not go behind you like it does in the standard basic squat. Your arms can be in front to help you balance. Yep. And you go back up. So it's as if you're in an elevator or like this could be your new, um, uh, what's it called? Like a party trick is the word I was looking for. So you're like, does it look like I'm going up in a lift? 
there we go, <laughs> and then down again. So you have to keep your body completely vertical in order for the effect to be effective. <laughs> cool, let's go up again. Groovy, heels on the floor, shake out your legs. <sighs> okay, sissy squat is the next one. And we're gonna do a few variations of the sissy squat. So sissy squat is you lift your heels, similar to um, elevator, but slightly different. Basically, you maintain a straight line from your shoulder to your knee, tuck your tailbone a notch, bend your knees, your knees and your hips go forward and you lean your upper body back. You go as low as you feel you can recover from and you recover and you come back up. We're gonna do two of those. Okay, so whatever happens, you have to keep it the least sexy thing you've probably ever done your whole life, which means you're not allowed to stick your bum out. So if you get to like here and you're like, oh shit, I don't know if I can come back up, you're not allowed to do that, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> if you're not sure, keep it a little bit conservative and then come back up. Yep, nice, good. I reckon you can go a bit lower. Yep, and nice, and then come back up. It looks like your bum went out behind you that time. Yeah, just turn to the side so I can see. Yep, so you're just leaning back, hips go forward, and then come back up. I liken this to a lusty gentleman. <laughs> so the lusty gentleman's just like, hello. <laughs> Very inappropriate, but I am inappropriate. Okay, <laughs> same, same, but different. We're now gonna have a little stagger with the feet. So the one foot is slightly in front of the other. You lift your heels again and you go into your sissy squat. You might not be able to go quite as low for this one. Yep, exactly, lovely. So your hips are still going forward. You're still leaning back. Your heels are still off the floor. It's basically the same. It's just that one foot is slightly in front of the other. Yep, and then hips go, still going forward as you come up. We'll do one more on that side and then we'll change the legs. Lovely, hips forward, hips forward, hips forward. Still go hips forward and then come up. Cool, change legs. Lovely, heels off the floor. Knees go forward, hips go forward, chest and shoulders go back and come up. I think you'll find it looks really weird. And then go again, <laughs> knees and hips forward, leaning back and then come up. Great way to work the anterior chain or the front of your body. In other words, shake out your legs. Okay, we're gonna be slightly more normal now. Come to the front of your mat if you're having one, if you're on one rather. And inhale to reach your arms up. Nice, we're gonna forward bend on the exhalation. Gonna step or jump into plank and chaturanga as you exhale. So your hands are gonna go flat. Either step or float your feet back. Bend your elbows when your feet touch the floor. Chaturanga. Nice, up dog as you inhale. Exhale, hips high to down dog. Lovely. No more mountain climbers, I promise. But inhale, lift your right leg. Nice. Knee to your chest as you exhale. Go onto fingertips on your hands and as lightly as you can, step your right foot down between your hands. Lovely. Now push through your feet into the floor to lift your chest away from the floor. So you're gonna lift your chest and your arms reach up behind you. Take a breath here. As you exhale, you're gonna bend your back leg, round your spine and give yourself a hug. Yeah. And then inhale to expand your chest again. So you're lifting your chest, your arms go up behind you. Lovely. Exhale, round your spine, lean back. Bend your back leg as well, give yourself a hug. Yeah, so lean your upper body back a tiny bit here. Yep, and then inhale to expand one more time. Last time to contract, rounding your spine, bend your back leg. Fabulous, and then from here we go to warrior two. So you're gonna expand, uh, drop your back heel and reach your arms out. Now in this warrior two, in not, instead of having palms down, we're going palms up. So you have to rotate from your shoulders to get your palms to face upwards. Nice. So once you've arrived in your warrior two, I'm gonna face this way, we're gonna go for a few pulses. Yeah, so you're just pulsing into your right leg. Nice. Okay, from here, we're taking a reverse warrior by lifting your right arm and you're gonna push your left palm forwards towards the space in front of you. 
I would say toward the front of the room, but there isn't such a thing right now. And now um, you're gonna swap arms. Your left arm's gonna come up over your head, coming into a more of a side angle pose situation, and you push your right palm towards your left side. Yeah, so you're not gonna put your um, elbow on your thigh. We're gonna come up again to reverse warrior. Your right arm's gonna come up and you push your left hand forward. Yep, one more time to side angle. Left arm's coming up over your head, your right palm pushes to your left. Nice, both hands coming down to the floor from here, coming into a lizard pose. You're gonna to turn to the back of your space. Nice, lovely, uh, just lift your back knee. There we go, yeah. And you're gonna step your right foot back into plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Not at that speed, of course. So you step it back, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Lovely. Exhale, hips high to downward facing. Left leg goes up as you inhale. We'll get, we are gonna step it forward. <laughs> You're right. Bring your knee to your chest, go to fingertips on your hand, really squeeze your thigh into your chest. And as lightly as you can, step your left foot down between your hands. Yeah. Hands off, chest up. Arms reach out behind you, take a deep breath. Bend your back knee, round your spine, give yourself a hug. Yeah, inhale to expand. Lovely, round your spine, give yourself a hug. Awesome, expand one more time. Fabulous, round your spine, give yourself a hug. Yep, and then from here we're going to warrior two. So expand, drop your back heel. Palms are up, so I forgot to specify that before. So palms are up in the warrior two and you can pulse also. Okay, we're gonna reverse the warrior from here. Your left arm's gonna come up and you push your right hand across in front of you. So you come into a non-supported warrior two. So you're using your abs a lot. Change arms, now your right arm comes over your, over your head, push your left palm to that side, to your right, cool, change arms, your left arm comes up, your right hand pushes across in front of you, you got it, exactly, lovely, change arms again, coming into the side angle variation, your right arm comes up over your head, you push your left hand toward the right. Cool, both hands coming down to the floor, inside your left foot. Lift your right heel, coming into lizard pose. Yep, I love a little bounce, go for it. Just enjoy your bouncing. Yeah, don't hold back, but we are gonna go into a chaturanga from here. So when you're ready, step your left leg back. Chaturanga, bend your elbows. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Downward dog as you exhale. Lovely, walk your hands to your feet, go to the back of your mat, and slowly stand up from there. And now, you can turn to face the long side of your mat if you want to, I don't really mind where you stand. Uh, you can um, you're now be on your left foot. Pick up your right knee. You're gonna go back into this expansion, extending your right leg out to your right and reaching your left arm out to your left. Cool, we're gonna squeeze it in again, and then we're gonna shoot it out fast, like like you're actually trying to hurt somebody. <laughs> but don't do that. The other day when I was doing this, I actually kicked the cat. That was fun. Squeeze it in. Fast to expand. Pew! So this works your balance a lot. Squeeze it in one more time. Nice. Expand fast. Pew! Now you're going to take a long step with this top foot out to the side. Lovely. Bend both knees in the middle. Transfer your weight across to that side. Pick up the other leg. Yeah, exactly. So you're now standing on your right foot, your left leg is extended out to your left. Uh, you can extend the arm as well. Squeeze them in. And then you're fast to expand. Pew! Yep. Squeeze it. Fast to expand. Pew! Lovely. Squeeze in one last one. And expand. Pew! Nice, long step out to your left, coming into goddess pose. So you have both knees bent, you're there, lovely. Shift your weight from side to side. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna now kick off the right leg and come into a balance here, just with your foot on the inside of your uh, left knee. Okay, you're gonna take a long controlled step out to your right. And then do the same thing going the other way. So you're gonna push off your left leg, bring your knee to your uh, right, sorry, bring your foot to your right knee. Okay, expand. Softly place your foot. Yep, out to the side. Pew! Nice. Out. This time you're gonna, as soon as this top foot lands, you're gonna bring the other foot in. So you're gonna go step and in. Yeah, nice. Same again to the other side, out to the side. Step straight away in. Lovely. Place your foot down on the floor, chill for half a second. Shake out your legs. Okay, so you can choose. You can either do exactly the same thing again, or we can crank up the intensity and go for a cheeky jump from side to side. So you've probably done this before. You basically start on one foot, you kick off this leg, jump, oh shit, I did that so badly. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. You <laughs> land on the other foot, good. Jump out to the side, land on the one foot. Jump out to the side, land on the other foot. I personally find this immensely fun, but I know that I'm not normal. Yep, lovely. And you can use this top leg as a swing to get the power and a bit of height to get some bit of distance. Nice. It's fantastic for foot and ankle stability as well. Lovely. I think that's probably about enough. Uh, let's do one more to the, that side. Lovely, feet on the floor, shake your legs out. Nice. Ooh, working hard today. Is it cruel to make you work this hard on a warm day? Not at all. <laughs> Not, we're not working hard enough, Slevin. Okay, so we're gonna kind of merge sequences a little bit. Okay, uh, turn to face the front of your mat, wherever you are. We're gonna go through a vinyasa to a three-legged dog. So when you're ready, inhale, arms reach up. Ah, exhale, bowing forwards. Stepping or floating back to Chaturanga, your choice. If you're floating back, you put your hands on the floor. Go super high onto tiptoes. Push your hands down, look between your hands. Get your bum as high as you can. Lift your toes. Float back, bend your elbows as soon as your feet touch. Yep, bend your elbows, lovely. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice, three-legged dog with your right leg going up. Inhale, lift it. Lovely, exhale, knee to your chest. Fingertips on your hands. Lightly place your right foot down. Groovy, hands off the floor. Now, if you'd like to make life hard for yourself, you're gonna lift your front heel. If you wanna stay civilized, you keep it on the floor. Okay, we're gonna expand, inhale. So this is exactly what you did earlier, but it's slightly different because you now have your front heel off. Bend your back leg, round your spine, lean back. Give yourself a squeeze. Hug yourself to love yourself. Inhale, straighten your back leg. You don't have to listen to my nonsense. Lovely, expanding. Uh, bend, contract, squeeze. Yep, last time to expand. Nice, from here we're going to warrior two. Drop your back heel. Now you have an option to keep your front heel off the floor here. That makes life a little bit more difficult. And then lift your back heel as well. Arms coming out to the side, palms facing up. Reverse the warrior, option to stay on tiptoes with the reverse warrior, lifting your right arm, pushing your left hand forward. Staying on tiptoes for the side angle, if you're going for that option, your left arm comes up over your head and you push your right palm uh, to your left. I just changed sides so you can see from a uh, different angle. Lift one more time to the reverse warrior. Put your heel, uh, your left heel on the floor. You're gonna kick off your right knee your right foot and bring your knee to your chest. Cool, we're gonna jump across the other side, landing on your right foot, your left knee comes into your chest. Jump to the other side. And then place your foot down, turn to face the front of your mat if you're not already. Both feet on the floor now. 
Yep, arms reaching up. Big breath in. Exhale to bow forwards. Hands on the floor, stepping or floating back to Chaturanga. So as soon as your toes touch, bend your elbows. Yep, inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Left legs are going up, three-legged dog. Nice, exhale, knee to your chest. Bring your shoulders over your hands, fingertips on your hands. And super lightly step your left foot down. Okay, hands off the floor, option to lift your left heel. Same as last time. Nice, arms reach out behind. Take a breath. Awesome. Round your spine, bend your back knee, give yourself a squeeze. Awesome. Straighten your back leg as you inhale, expand. Fantastic. One more squeeze. Bend your back knee, lean back a tiny bit. Lovely. Inhale to expand. Nice. Last one. Squeezing in. Of course I've lost count. I don't have no idea if this is the right number. <laughs> Expanding. And then drop your back heel, coming into warrior two. Feel free to adjust the distance between your feet also. And then if you wanna go left heel off the floor, go for it. You can also go right heel, same as last time. So you can make it as hard as you want. Uh, reversing the warrior, left arm's going up. Your right hand pushes across to your left. Fabulous. Change, oopsie, changing sides, trying not to fall over. Yep, now your right arm goes over your head, exactly. Your left hand pushes across. Nice, reversing again. Left arm comes up, right hand pushes across. Yep, side angle again. Right arm goes up and over. Left hand pushes across. Nice, reverse. Oh, the thighs are dying a little bit. Heels on the floor, kicking off your left foot. Bring your, knee, your foot to your right knee. Yep. Groovy, place your foot down on the floor. Shake your legs. Oh, let's take it down to a little bit of a chill now. We're gonna go to wide-legged forward fold. So you're gonna go feet really wide. Yup, and then just bring your hands down to the floor. Nice. Let your upper body just completely flop and hang. And you can shake out your head, you can nod your head, you can sway your upper body from side to side. And nice. So just use this as like a super chilled out moment. Take both hands towards your right foot. Yeah. You can bring your feet a little closer together for this. Yeah, you look like you're <laughs> really out on a limb there. Okay, so you can hold on to your uh, right ankle with both hands. And then you can bring your upper body close to your leg if you want. Yeah. And you can also play with this position. So you can turn your body a little bit um, to face your leg. So kind of all kind of more towards your left leg, or you can rotate a little bit away from your, from your right leg, and you can put your right hand on your hip. Just have a little kind of play with this position so you're not only doing the same thing the whole time. And just move quite slowly so you can feel any areas of resistance and any other areas of ease. Yeah. Cool, we're gonna change legs but we're gonna basically move between the two. So you're gonna go over to your left, hang out there for a minute. And then you can add in any other little bits and pieces of variations, like rotating more to your left, rotating your upper body a bit more to your right, just different ways of doing the same thing. Nice. And we're now just going to move between one side and the other. 
Feel free to bend your knees or you can bend one knee and straighten the other and bend one knee and straighten the other. And again, just have a play, see what works for you. Yeah. Okay, now start to heel toe your feet towards each other. Okay, come up halfway and now cross your left foot in front of your right. And you're gonna come into a forward bend with your feet crossed. It's gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. You can have your hands on the floor, you can have your hands on your hips, wherever you feel is right. Cool, nice. You can move your hips a bit from side to side here, so you don't have to stay still the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I just caught a glimpse of myself and how ridiculous this looks. <laughs> Cross your other foot in front. Yeah, nice. And then you can choose to stay still or you can move your hips from side to side. You can let your head hang also. Okay, keep your feet crossed. Start to bend your knees and bring yourself down to sit. Fabulous. Oh! Didn't you do well? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna just um, have a little wiggle in this position. So you just do any movements here that feel right and necessary. So you're very welcome to move your shoulders, your head and your neck. And you can twist a bit if you want to, so you can turn to one side, you can put a hand on a knee and then the other side, just kind of moving in whatever way you feel is right. Okay, and when you're ready, take a lie down. If you're enjoying what you're doing, carry on, don't let me stop you. <laughs> Go for it, lovely. Make yourself comfortable. Do any last little bits and pieces of movement that you feel like you need to do. Nice, and then when you're ready, you're just gonna lie flat and still on the floor. Take a really deep breath in. As you exhale, let yourself completely flop. And just enjoy doing nothing now.
Okay, if you are ready to move again, take a deep breath, bring a little bit of movement back into your body. Uh, if you would prefer to stay as you are, by all means do. <laughs> Otherwise, slowly start to move. And when you're ready, you're gonna roll onto one side. And slowly come up to sit. Bring your hands together, interlace your fingers. Push your hands forward around your spine slightly. And then reach your arms up over your head. Have a big stretch, do anything that feels fabulous. And when you're done, you're gonna bring your arms down. If you've been watching the recording, very well done. You absolute superstar, because that was pretty intense. Check out my other classes and I will see you soon.